call a meeting to order. Item of business will be to approve the minutes of the March 5th, 2013 regular meeting. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we approve the minutes of the uh, last meeting. I'll second. Then move the second and approve the minutes of the March 5th, 2013 meeting. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. Motion carries. Item number two is received, place on file, drainage repairs. Not given to me. We'll move on to item number three. That is to receive and place on file the manure management plan for Price Fishner, Fisher and at section seven, Burnside. Shannon, I'll move item three. Second. We'll move second. Receive and place on file the manure management plan for Price Finisher in section seven. Motion. Hearing none, all in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. Item number four is to discuss and approve Western County smoking and tobacco use policy. The, uh, in this particular, for this particular item at the moment, we have uh, received a rough draft some time ago of a policy. The intent here today is to uh, discuss how we're going to proceed forward in terms of the uh, uh, putting the policy together. Question primarily is uh, whether we're going to have a policy and uh, whether we're going to try to um, establish designated smoking areas or not. So, uh, assuming that we come to some kind of a decision here or, or direction, uh, then we'll go forward in terms of putting a final policy together, getting it over to legal, give them, them an opportunity to look it over, and ultimately bring it back here and institute a policy. So, with that in mind, does anyone have a burning desire to address this issue? I can I'll start if you no, wish. I'll just make a motion. Uh, I would move, Mr. Chairman, I would move to uh, make all county properties smoke-free as of July 1st of this year. It's been moved that we make uh, the county smoke-free effective July 1 of this year. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second that. And move and second if there's any discussion. So, um, with this, um, what does that do for um, if people want to go outside and they stand on the sidewalk? Well, I don't think it prevents anybody from doing that. Okay. Now, an employee's there. smoke a cigarette would do a thing about it. What about our employees? I'm sorry? What about our employees? It depends on whether or not you own that particular portion of land. And I, I don't know enough about our land ownership. It's obvious that the county owns the courthouse. It's obvious the county owns the bank building. Yes. But the payment table area outside of the bank building, for example, if you own that, then you can regulate that. Mm -hmm. If you don't, then the regulation
It's my understanding that um, it, it is permissible in some circumstances to uh, allow designated areas. And if that is the case, I was hopeful that uh, we could establish those designated areas in such a manner as to not offend and or irritate other folks. That's not the question here. And evidently, that's not an emotion. But again, I was again hopeful that we could do something I believe along those lines that we've given and listened to the employees um, and tried to look at the designated areas and it just was becoming a point where I don't think that that was going to be accomplished and so that's why I want to just move this forward. Um, other entities, the hospital, the college, um, French pavement, schools are all smoke free. So I think we just keep it simple. To me, the state law is a state law. We're just going to follow up. In fairness to what you said, um, we, we have in the past seen areas, maybe not officially designated as smoking areas, but it has created situations and problems that uh, have precipitated us going further with this. So maybe I should write, but um, okay, again, I was hopeful we could designate an area that would be not offensive to anybody. Quite frankly, maybe it's cleared out in the forest. So. so this is just for county employees and not private citizens. That was the original proposal that all private citizens are covered under the smoke free air act. You can only regulate your employees through policy. If you wanted a county ordinance, you could do that, but I would advise against it based on the existing state law. County owns my set golf course. That would be up to you to decide. And in its present form, the policy relates to all county owned property. There are particular exceptions for golf courses in the law. Campgrounds. There are exceptions for that as well for DNR regulated facilities and DNR owned facilities. And again, that would be a question of your leasehold agreements with the DNR. So I think you need to be. Two exceptions. I'm, I'm with Merrill. why we can't have a designation in each building where people can go. I mean, this is a public building. We have court cases. We have all these people upstairs. If you don't tell them someplace to go, all the people who are up there all the time are going to go right out here, and that was what was creating the problem. I think it, uh, it's a better solution to have someplace for them to go, and I would say for this building over here would be perfect because that's where it's been. There's been no complaints in that area for all this time. I mean, the reason this came about was because there was a problem in the front sidewalk. So, as proposed, that's not going to solve the initial problem. Because you can't, you know, run after the people in court and all that because you're, you're only regulating the county employees. I'm just saying if you had an arrow go over here, that might eliminate the problem a little bit better. But if, if somebody, if I'm understanding, if somebody complains, just a normal citizen that's on our property, you can't regulate the sidewalk out there. I know I can't regulate anything outside the boundaries of 